podcast, me, Tom Jackson, here with Smalls McGee, and I'm here too. This is the first time we've seen our guys' faces for a special occasion. Smalls, he is playing Five Nights at Freddy's. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm not looking forward to it. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> Oh, well, this is a small room. Hello? Hello? Uh, I wanted to record a message for you. Really? I hope you get settled in on your first night. Um, I actually worked in that office before you. I'm Good. I'm finishing out my last week now, as a matter of fact. So, I know it can be a bit overwhelming, but I'm here to tell you there's nothing to worry about. Uh, <gasps> what the? So, just focus. <laughs> It's funny! Okay, uh, let's see. First, there's an introductory greeting from the company that I'm supposed to read. It's kind of a legal thing, you know. Um, yeah. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a magical place for kids and grown-ups alike. Wow, this fan is really sucking up my power. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or person. Upon discovering the damage or death of the third, a missing person report will be filed within 90 days or as soon as property and premises have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached and the carpets have been replaced. Blah, blah, blah. Now, that might sound bad, I know, but there's really nothing to worry about. Uh, the animatronic characters um. here do get a bit quirky at night, but do I blame them? No. If I were forced to sing those same stupid songs for 20 years and I never got a bath, I'd probably be a bit irritable at night, too. So remember, oh my. these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children. We need to show them a little respect. Children ruin this country. Okay. So Shut be up. Aware, the characters do tend to wander a bit. Uh, they're left in some kind of free roaming mode at night. Uh, something about their servos locking up. They get turned off for too long. Uh, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day, too. Ah. But then there was the bite of 87. The bite of 87. Yeah. It's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal lobe. Oh. Know. Now, concerning your safety, the only real risk to you as a night watchman here, if any, is the fact that these characters, uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll, they'll most likely um. see you as a metal endoskeleton without its costume on. Now, since uh, that's against the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's That's not creepy. Yeah. They'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. Firmly uh, grasp it. Now, that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves weren't filled with cross beams, wired, and animatronic devices, especially around the facial area. So you can imagine how having your head forcefully pressed inside one of those could cause a bit of discomfort oh, yeah. and death. Oh. Uh, the only parts of you that would likely see the light of day again would be your eyeballs and teeth pop out the front of the mask. Oh! Yeah, they okay. don't tell you these things when you sign up. But hey, first day sleep breeze. I'll chat with you tomorrow. Uh, check those cameras and remember to Th- close thanks, the Jim. doors only if absolutely necessary. Gotta conserve power. Alright, good night. Thanks, Jim. I think they only come at 3 a.m. Right? Guys, I'm all alone again. Eh, eh. Let there be light. Eh. Oh, oh, I was wrong. Okay. Where are you? Explain yourself. Wait a minute. Oh! Hello, Mr. Chicken. Oh!
You stay where you are, Mr. Bunny Rabbit Pooh Bear thing. Um. I have one thing that you don't. The power to end the game. I can end every reason you have to live. Remember that, Mr. Bunny thing. Where are your friends? You're there now. Stay there. You can't hurt me, I have Norton antivirus. Remember that. <laughs> uh, you like that light bulb. So, this fan is really sucking up my power. He sucks. He's gonna play again. Woo! Let's yeah. go. Yeah. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.